Hit the thumbs up if you like our video. And be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all our adventures. The Lords of Nufin are descended from the noble family, the Lords of Sonnenmintungen, who built Hohen Nufa Castle between 1100 and 1120. Definitely wanted something to stay inside the door, didn't they? As you look at the stones, you can definitely see which which parts of the castle are original and which parts are are expanded. The original castle was built on this, this stone and then built up. And you can see a distinct difference between the stone here and the stone there. Despite its old look, much of this castle has been rebuilt and renovated and expanded, so we may have a difficult time finding any evidence of dragon activity. But the story is important. Now, this passage is usually open, but it's closed right now. And I read something recently about how they had found some new evidence here of, uh, of dragon activity, so I'm wondering if perhaps it is down in this cavern. We've been in here before, but we're obviously uh, not allowed to go in there. So we're gonna keep walking around. By marrying the Count of Uruk's daughter, Mangold had married himself into one of the largest and most influential families in Swabia. Mangold's son was the first to use the name Newfin, and he named this castle. Uh, Newfin Castle and established a town at the foot of the hill. In the last decade of the 12th century, the Count of Newfin, Berthold I, swung his support to the Dukes of Swabia, the Stauffers. Berthold had several sons, but the two most notable were Heinrich and Albert, and they were often mentioned as members of the royal court. Late in the reign of King Frederick II, around 1235, Henry Newfin and his sons supported the uprising of Frederick's son, Henry the Seventh and the anti-king Henry Rasp. Oh, why are there so many Henrys? The Württembergs also supported Henry Rasp, and they thought that if the Dukes of Swabia could remain deposed, they could swoop in under Henry Rasp and become the Dukes of Swabia. So, in order to ally with the Counts of Württemberg, Henry Newfin gave half this castle to the Württembergs. But before they could do anything, they were killed. Uh, Henry Newfin and his sons were killed in battle. But Württemberg said, hey, that's our castle, we're keeping it. After the death of the Duke of Swabia, the duchy was given to his son, his two-year-old son. And the Duke of Bavaria made all of the lands that the Württembergs had acquired given back to the Duke of Swabia, Conrad II. The castle was eventually sold to Conrad van Weitzberg around 1290 by King Rudolf of Habsburg, a sworn enemy of Count Eberhard I. You can learn more about that video right up here. In 1309, Eberhard I stormed out of the imperial court after King Albert accused him of being a tyrant and conducting self-serving practices. Already enraged with Albert's policies in support of the uh, Swabian imperial cities, Eberhard returned to his castle to continue his conquest of Swabia. Conrad was quickly becoming a rising star for King Albert Habsburg and was appointed as the military general of Swabian imperial cities. He quickly dispatched his troops to take Eberhard prisoner in his castle. Eberhard and his sister, Ermengard, barely escaped on the backs of their dragons. Eberhard told his sister to take Druk de Cleaver and head into the Swabian Alps to hide. He intended to strike at Conrad immediately. But rather than attack an entire army, Eberhard flew the Black Mountain to Conrad's castle here at Hohenufen. And now we look to find clues of the attack. Let's go.
So what we've what we've discovered is that Eberhard would have approached from the west, which is in this direction, and he would have brought the dragon up the side of the mountain and possibly landed in this courtyard right here. From this position, it would be easy to attack the keep. He could leap over the wall. The Black Mountain could leap over the wall while Eberhard walks through this passage. It's very windy up here, so I'm gonna try and speak a little louder. That tunnel that we just found ends up walking through those little caverns, or those little, like almost like dungeons, actually. But uh, that's where we're not allowed to go, so we're wondering what they found down there. From Hohenufen, you can actually see Berg Tech. It's probably about 10 kilometers. We actually have a pretty interesting story about the dragons inside the caves. So be sure to look at the card and check that out. Well, that was it for our video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so every time we post a video, you don't miss one. Make sure to hit that like button. Bye.